find out why these two are very important. 0 dB in the magnitude and minus 180 degrees in the, in the phase. This is called phase margin. So phase margin is basically um, the phase of our transfer function plus 180 degrees, right? So for example, here, the phase is going to be minus 100 something, 100, let's say like minus 130. And so it means that the phase margin is 50 degrees. We have this much phase margin. If at this point, our phase is smaller than minus 180 degrees, it means that we are not stable. So the phase margin, it basically tells us like how much margin we have for our phase to stay be stable, uh, to, to still be stable. Uh, the last concept is the concept of similar to phase margin. We also want to know what gain margin is. Okay. So the gain margin basically tells us that once we hit minus 180 degrees, which is in this case here, once our phase hits minus 180 degrees, um, how much, so like, let's look at this one here. So at this point, uh, this is not right here. So at minus 180 degrees, this is this is the gain. Okay, so it's minus 40 dB. Um, so the gain margin, it's basically at this point, when we hit minus 180 degrees in the phase, um, how much can we add to our gain to get to zero dB, right? So, in, in this case, it's basically 40 dB, right? Because here we hit minus 180 degrees at, at this point. At this point, our gain is minus 40. We can add 40 dB to our gain to be stable, to still be stable. So this is, this is basically what the gain margin is. Again, if at this point your gain is bigger than zero dB, so it means that you're not stable. That's why like phase margin and gain margin are important, right? So um, the phase margin, it basically tells us at, uh, at the crossover frequency, um, what, how, how much you are above the minus 180 degrees. And the gain margin tells us that like when you hit minus 180 degrees, how much can you add to your, uh, your gain to get to the, the zero dB or unity gain. It's called unity gain. Zero dB is also unity gain. Okay. So these are the three, um, important concepts in body plots. We usually look at these three concepts, crossover frequency, phase margin, and gain margin. Okay. Um, but how do we draw the body plot? How do we draw the body plot? That's the concept that we should discuss right now. I'm not gonna um, explain like how this is done. I'm just gonna tell you some of the rules that you can follow to draw an approximate body plot. Excuse me. So let's um, assume that we have a closed loop system this is our reference plus and we just have a simple 
closed loop system like this so like we supply the error to this transfer function and we want to get um, an output so what's the closed loop transfer function in this case our GC is 1 our H is 1 so it's gonna be G of S time uh, divided by 1 plus G of S okay <clears throat> So, um, so what are the closed loop poles of this system, right? This system has its own zeros and poles, but now we want to look at this bigger system. This bigger system has another transfer function. It's 1 plus gs, right? The poles of this one is where 1 plus gs becomes equal to 0 or where gs becomes equal to negative 1, okay? If I want to show this in the um, using uh, gain and phase, this is basically gain 1 with the phase of 180 degrees or minus 180 degrees doesn't matter like this is like minus 1 this is where minus 1 is right so the gain is 1 and the phase is either 180 degrees or negative 180 degrees both of them are the same that's why like the unity gain and 180 degrees are important gains and phases Basically, it tells us if you have a closed loop system, right, um, like when your closed loop system becomes unstable or stable, right? Because now this is not the only system that we have to look at. We also have to look at the bigger system. It's not just the open loop system. It's also like the closed loop system that we have to uh, take care of. We have to make sure that the poles of this one are also on the left hand side. So we have to look at both of them. Okay. So um, now I'm just gonna, so th this is basically to show you like the importance of unity gain and the phase of negative 180 degrees like that's why like we talked about crossover frequency phase margin and uh, uh, gain margin because we wanted to know uh, what happens if we add uh, feedback to our system our system is still gonna stay um, stay stable or not right so this system might be stable but like when you add a closed loop uh, a feedback, sorry, a feedback loop to the to system might become unstable. So that's why like we have to look at our phase margin or gain margin to make sure that the system is going to be stable. But um, what I want to talk about right now is like how to draw an approximate body plot. If you want to draw a perfect body plot, we have to use uh, simulation software packages that sweeps the frequency